All right. It's Jason. Thanks for watching my videos. I do appreciate it. Make sure y'all subscribe. Help me out there a little bit. Um, what we do is we got our chickens back here. Our chickens are uh, T, which is short for teriyaki, and uh, Sweetie, which is short for sweet and sour. And then we got the third chicken. Uh, that's Eevee that's for Pokemon. I would have said General Sow or something like that, but that'll work. Uh, we love our chickens. Uh, we do spoil them a little bit. Uh, usually we buy their food. There's a problem we've come into. We have this container over here, and the bag fills it up twice. Well, while we fill it up once, now we got a bag that, you know, we live in rural Alabama, so, you know, field mice and stuff will come, and they'll get into that bag. So trying to avoid some, some of that. So what uh, our chickens, during the process of eating, because they're kind of rough, you know, they are descendants of the, the raptors and all, they did tear up their feeder. So we're gonna make another feeder and I'm gonna try to eliminate this. So my son, AJ and I are gonna have a father-son project day and we're gonna make a next-gen feeder. Yeah, boy. So we're gonna turn this into a feeder for our three chickens, for T and Sweetie and Evie. Uh, now, our, I, I'm gonna use my Sawzall because why would I not wanna use a power tool any chance I get? But then I'm going to use my razor blades and my Sharpie and then drink of my Coke Zero. That's pretty much the majority of the tools I'm going to need, I believe. If I have to adjust that, I'll let you all know. So let's get down to it. Now, our first order of business is we need to turn these. Into these. The concept is to put them on the outside of the, the brood container and the chickens can get their head down in here and they can eat the food down here. It should be gravity fed and obviously it's bigger and you can hold a 50 pound bag of feed and they can eat as much as they want when they want. Um, all right midnight come on and uh so my son's cat's trying to get involved too but look I don't want to run my mouth I could be long-winded I, I know that in all my videos. I'm going to go ahead and get started AJ and I are going to start building this and you probably won't see AJ too much because he's my cameraman today, but he'll get in on this too. And uh, we'll be right back with you and show you the next step. All right, so I used my Sawzall to cut these off. That's how I did that. Now, originally what I did is I, I took the fat end and I traced it. Don't do that. That's a mistake. You need to take the smaller end. Probably be easier to do this before you cut them off. Just a little tip. But that's what you want to use to draw the trace. That's where the Sharpie marker comes in. I'm sorry, Milwaukee marker, not a Sharpie. I actually like these better. They got a finer tip and they last a lot longer. So just there's a tip for you. And they cost a little about the same, just maybe a little bit more. And what I'm gonna cut this. The good thing about thin plastic or rubber is you know you can just use a razor blade. Got a new razor blade, and I'm gonna cut the smaller one out. And I'm just gonna trim around on the inside and make sure I'm on the inside. Now the other thing is. I don't know if you can see it from there, but there's a couple little things that are just up a little bit higher there to make it a little bit wider. I'm counting on that little nugget right there actually holding it in. So we're going to see how that goes. Hopefully it'll work. And uh, what I'll probably end up doing is going on the inside and putting some caulking or rubber cement or something a little bit later. But right now I just want to get it in there so they can try it out and see what they think of it. Because like I said, we like to spoil our chickens. So all right, let me end it here and we'll get right back with you in just a second. Here's the one I just cut. I tell you, it, it probably didn't take me but a minute to cut it. Go slow, make sure you use a sharp razor blade, but this is the hole. There it is right there. This is going to fit inside. Of course, I have another hole right over here. Like I said, I'm using just the razor blade. And I'm going to the inside. But as long as you have a sharp razor blade, you can actually just push it through. And if I would not suggest trying to cut around unless you got a really steady hand. You know, cut around by pushing it in here and there. And you may dole the razor blade out. This one's still sharp. So let me get this other one cut, and then we got one on the other side. I'll show you uh, how these are going to go in real quick, and that should be almost all of it. All right. So I got my holes in. I got these two. Here's the. There's two of them. Got three chickens. I want each to have a place to put their head at. Like I said chickens aren't as friendly as you would think. All right, so here's this. There's my hole. Like I said, you can still see my ring. You can also see the one I accidentally made with the 
those. If you look at the uh, bottom one over there, you can tell I had to make fill up some room. These really, they're not hard to go in. That little doohickey on it I was talking about, it does help it stay in. And that's it right there. So I got turn it straight up and down. Make sure I clean them out for them. They're all staying in really good actually. Now that one, not moving at all. I pulled it where, you see this one right here, it's kind of concaved in a little bit. This one, I pulled it back out. I'll do the same with that one in a second. That seems to hold them in perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this down, get that set where I want it. I'm going to clean up my tools, and my mess, so mama don't get onto us. And I'm gonna take it out there. We're gonna put some food in it, and we'll see how these chickens like it. And the star of the show, and the chickens, and AJ. He's uh, got some strawberries that he went and picked real quick, and the chickens love strawberries. You can see they're up there ready to be hand-fed. AJ's going to throw those, my wife's idea, into the holes and uh, get them uh, used to go getting in there, see if they like it. There we go. And just like that, it's not scary no more. Imagine that. Thinking about it, they're giving it that, that crooked eye. Of course, I got to finish fighting over the one, you know, even though there's a couple dozen right there. And I'm going to say it's a success. They got a head in there one time, they'll go the rest of the way now. So, pretty de decent little coop. Got the door right there for them, got their little house, water, got a little thing over there that they can't scratch up so it can actually grow stuff that they can eat. I'm going to say it's a success, so thanks for watching, y'all.